everyone, welcome back. I'm Dai, and today I'm bringing you my first impressions on the manga Phantom Tales of the Night by Matsuri. This is a new release by Yen Press. We are reading this as part of my In Real Life Manga Book Club, and this was the chosen pick for the month of October. So I thought I'd share my first impressions with you on it since I did、um, read it recently. So, this one is rated older teen, just so you know. And it follows an innkeeper who exchanges sanctuary for your deepest secret. And this one has like different short stories per chapter. It definitely reminded me of the manga Nightmare Inspector by Shin Mashiba. I had read that series a while back, and I believe I read the last volume this year, but I took a big hiatus in between. Anyway, getting off track. <laughs> It definitely reminded me of that series. In that series, we follow a dream eater who takes up residence at a tea house. In this series, like I said, we follow an innkeeper who exchanges sanctuary for secrets. Each chapter of this volume followed a different storyline. We learn about the innkeeper and a character that I'm not sure if it's going to be a recurring character or if he's just like here for the time being. But this particular character showed up more than once in this volume. And then the innkeeper has two. Like co workers or acquaintances, I'm not quite sure what their relationship is, but it seems like the three of them are like part of this inn. So, like I said, the innkeeper, and then there is a spider, and there is a butterfly. I definitely enjoy manga like this where you have different storylines.、Um, Kind of each chapter, but there's also an underlying connection, if you will, between the innkeeper and his relationships with the butterfly and the spider and the whole thing about the inn. It's just something that I really enjoy, and I'm not sure why I was surprised, but. I guess I wasn't aware that this was a horror manga going into it. I thought it more, was more of a supernatural manga, and so I wasn't expecting some of the things that are in here. But it was a pleasant surprise. I really enjoyed that it was a bit scarier. I definitely enjoy that type of thing. I won't lie, I had originally thought that the innkeeper was female. You learn pretty early on that the innkeeper is male, but when I found out that he was male, it was kind of shocking. At that point, because I do run my book club and several of the members are teenagers, I was questioning our choice. I mean, normally with older teen things, especially in first volumes, it's not. Going to be something where I question is this going to be something appropriate for them to read? I mean, they're 15, 16 years old, so as a parent, my, my kind of mom alarm went off, but it turns out that the situations that had surprised me, I do think are okay for them to read, thankfully. <laughs>、um, but Yeah, I was definitely surprised, especially at the revealing of the innkeeper being male. But it's definitely not something that at this point I would think would be inappropriate for a teenager of 15 or 16 years old to read. Like I said, this is older teen rated, so I think that's 16 plus. But yeah. I, I don't have a problem with my daughter reading it. My daughter's obviously not 16 anymore, but、um, 
if she were the age of my book club members, I definitely wouldn't have had a problem with her reading the content in this manga. The art style is definitely interesting. There's a lot of detail in in the panels, at least I think. If you can see on the cover, there's a lot of detail in regards to that design as well. It is pretty busy as far as the panels go. There's some action scenes where I had to really look at the panel to figure out what was going on. But for me, that just made it more interesting. I spent more time taking in the details and the story, and that didn't bother me at all. All in all, I'm very impressed with this volume. I really enjoyed it. I'm definitely looking forward to more, and I hope that you will check this one out as well. Let me know if you plan on reading this one or if you have read it and what you thought about it. That's all I've got for you today. I hope you're all doing great, and until next time, take care, and smile always. Bye!